there may be scenarios where we want to pass objects to external functions. So functions that aren't a part of the class and in turn receive those objects from external functions. So one way to do that is we can pass an object as an argument. Let's say we're working with a class to do with employees and calculating their salary and their pay raise. So we have a class employee. Curly braces, I'm going to close the semicolon. And we have some public values. Double double salary, and then double age. Let's define a constructor. So employee of double S and double A salary equals S and age equals A. So this is our class. And let's say, so this is our class. Let's say we wanted to calculate the raise of an employee. We want to define a function, void, calc, raise. And we want to pass the object. So what we do is define the class of the object. So employee is the class. Let's define an object name, emp. Open curly braces. Let's say we wanted to calculate their experience. We could say double experience equals emp dot age divided by 100 and minus some value. And we wanted to say the raise is equal to x times employee's salary. And we want to print out what their annual raise is. So that's how we can define a function that takes in an object emp which is going to be local here for class employee. And we've accessed some of the, the variables using dot notation, so emp dot age, lowercase age, emp dot salary, and print out some calculation related to that. So in order to call that function, we first need to define our object, employee John capital E employees or class name John and construct call the constructor with his salary 33,000 and his age passes age 28 and then we can calc his raise so we print out his, his raise we need to pass the object John so we pass the object John to our externally defined function calc raise Run that. Got some. If we run that, we can see that our function was called using the information or the attributes defined in John, and his annual raise was calculated and printed to screen. Now let's say we wanted to return an object. So what we could do is we could declare our function instead of just calculating raise, we could say call a function or define a function define employee. And with this function, the data type it's going to return is actually the class type, so employee. Define employee, open curly braces. We're not going to pass anything to it, but we are going to initialize our employee information within this function. So we're going to create our object John, call the constructor to assign all the values to the variables from the class employee. And then we are going to return this object. So we're going to return John.
And in our main function, we are going to call this function. So we're going to construct our object, employee John equals define employee. And we can print out information about the employee. So John's his age. salary we can even once we've defined him we can even calculate his his raise run that you can see that John was defined within a function the function returned a type of class employee so define John here and returns information. What we can do, like any function, is pass the values. So this could be int salary and int age. And this could be salary. This could be age. And we can define pass in information we want to pass and 35.